Alright guys, today we are going to be replacing the shaft seal on this GCD 160 it's a pressure washer. So here is the shaft seal. It's right here. This is the seal right here. After so long and a ton of use finally given up the ghost just started leaking oil down the shaft onto the pump so and this is after years of use years of use I can't even tell you how much we use this thing but yeah so I'm gonna replace that today and I'll show you how you do it all right gonna be tough to show this uh, one-handed Oops. <laughs> all right so this is what I'm using but right, uh, right here, obviously the seal is pretty well trashed. So what I'm trying to do is get behind it. Now when you work on these things and you just have to find a tool that'll work. This one just happens to work. But all you gotta do is get behind it a little bit. That thing is in really bad shape. Let me put it down here. So that's the old seal. The new one will ride right in there too. I'm pretty sure I got the right one. There's the new seal. Yeah, and after so long, I mean, that thing just, it's brittle and kind of soft right there. You can see that. It was soft. Obviously, it was leaking through this little plastic seal. So, we got it out. I'll put the new one in. I'll show you that. All right. Installing the new seal. There's a flat side to these and then there's kind of a cup side to these. And inside there you can see that little silver, that's a tiny little spring. And that helps keep tension on it. So I'm going to... Put it in there like this. I'll give it a little tap. Uh, just to seat it and I'll show you. Okay, I just kind of pushed it on there. Gently push this on there. A little bit of time. Okay, hold on. I've got a, I need another set of hands. All right, guys. I wish I could have showed you that, but uh, it's pretty tough. Um, so what I did is I just used this piece to slowly tap it in around the edges, and it bottoms out and. Just be careful, go slow. It's pretty easy. So new seals in. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll maybe show you putting this thing back together. I filled it back up with oil. And we don't have any leaks. So that obviously fixed it. And just a thought here with why this seal failed a crack right there. It wasn't this inner ring. It was where it attaches here. My thought is that the key rode too far up because of the damage that I have to the shaft keyway that that key rode too high up and hit this And caused a hole to form there. It wore it out. So the key was kind of loose in there, and it it's gonna be because this that shaft.
shaft keyway is pretty messed up. So I'm guessing that the key rode too high and ran into the seal. So the key was sticking out too high out the top here and was rubbing on the bottom of the seal and it let go. So that's my thought. Uh, maybe try and find a way to keep that key down inside here further so that it doesn't ride up and kill my next seal. But that's, a, that's what I think happened. But uh, if you guys found this helpful, hit the like button, comment, let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys watching. Alright guys, we're going to reinstall this pump. Just got done replacing the seal, the crank seal. Uh, put new oil in it. And now I'm going to try and install this thing. Um, try and get everything kind of lined up to start with. With your shaft key and the keyway in there. I know you can't see it very well, but they're pretty well lined up. And then... Uh, kind of got my bolts ready to just drop in there so I'm gonna attempt this so you guys will be able to see okay. so far so good drop the bolt through This. Oh boy. Just get them started, which is pretty tough on that. Okay. Two out of three, and this is kind of a tricky one. Okay, so I got them started anyway. Alright guys, I got it all tightened down, pumps back on. And the key is farther into the pump this time. Uh, everything seems to work. I didn't fire up, I haven't put gas in it or anything, but I'll be storing it for the winter here, the rest of the winter. And uh, yeah, that should do it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, that type of stuff. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this is useful information. Thanks, guys.